to Motor City Comic Con and this year it's back in May uh, because of COVID the past couple years I think two years ago it was canceled last year they did not have it in May because COVID was still pretty rampant so they moved it to October a little bit of a smaller show but it was still fun I didn't do any video back then but Heading out there today. It's the third day Sunday. I couldn't go Friday or Saturday, unfortunately. So we're gonna see what Sunday looks like at Motor City Comic Con. And in October, I remember there weren't a lot of comic dealers there. Probably five or six. It was, like I said, really scaled down. Um, so I'm hoping for more. And I know uh, some other dealers nationally are gonna be there that weren't there in October. So I'm gonna stop by their booths. I'll get some video of as much as I can. And we'll just, we'll see how it goes. And maybe, maybe I'll pick up one or two things. I know the last video I did of, I can't remember what comic show it was, but I ended up not picking up anything because prices were just crazy, unrealistic. So. I, uh, I'm holding out hope here that I'm going to be able to make some deals, especially this being the last day. On a Sunday, maybe some people are willing to do better deals than they were on the first couple days. So we'll see. All right, here we go. side but I think it's full oh well, they opened up about a half an hour ago so I'm definitely behind schedule but I have a lot to do this morning so I just said I'll get here when I get here I already got my wristband picked it up a few days ago I got to cut in in front of all those other people that were heading down to the box office, apparently. One of the workers stopped me and saw my wristband and said, no, you can come in these doors. And so, I'm going in. Not sure where. Okay, now there are signs pointing to go this way. So here we go. The funny thing is, these TVs here say Motor City Comic Con, it has an arrow pointing forward. The same ones are pointing the other way. See, look. Motor City Comic Con, so it says it go that way. Very confusing. All right, we're not off to the best start, but it's all about the journey, right? Oh, I guess we can go in here. Hello. All right, thank you. All right, here we are. Hello. I don't know if I'll get one of these right now. Maybe next time, or maybe on the way out. All right. 
but it looks like you got food and concessions over here. You've got a whole bunch of aisles of stuff, right? Just like every bigger convention. And then more food and snacks over there. All right, so what do we do first? We do a walk around before we stop and talk to anyone really. Action figures galore. And over here too. Ah, Lord of the Rings, Toy Biz. All right, those pretzels have my name all over them, but uh, gonna be later. All right, so down this way, it looks like it's really more of the arts and crafts types of stuff. Oh, William Messner Lopes. So, we'll still go up and down these aisles, why not? So a lot of this is similar to what I saw back in October. My wife and I came. All right, so I was interrupted. But what I was trying to say was back in October, my wife and I came to the Comic-Con and it was very similar. So far what I've seen with like the artists Arts and crafts, as I call it. You know, jewelry, prints. So far, very similar. It's not jam-packed, as you can see. And maybe that's because I'm here on a Sunday. Oh, getting close to uh, the comic stuff. So, yeah. Nice amount of room, but... Again, it is, it's not even 11 o'clock yet, so that could have something to do with it. It's fun stuff there. The other thing we're gonna look for today, not just comic books, uh, we'll look at some action figures, but we're also gonna look for cards. We're gonna see if people have cards, and specifically Marvel cards. Spidey Ju09, who just rebranded to Spidey Hits, I believe. Let's see if I can make him proud and find some Marvel cards. All right, getting into action figures and stuff. Crypt Keepers. Wish they had some EC books in there. Looks like just a bunch of Halloween stuff, masks, and uh, the Bumblebee made an appearance. A 
lot of more recent stuff in here. Still cool things. Uh, some older, a little bit older Star Wars stuff. I'm not a big Star Wars action figure guy, so can't tell you a whole lot about it. But I do know some of the things that I see were on store shelves, you know, 10, 20 years ago. guys think so far of uh, CGC versus PSA? I prefer it. Prefer CGC, huh? Yeah. Already? It's cheaper. Um, we're a little bit harsher with our grades, so you're getting like a true grade from the PSA. Yeah. PSA, I've said a lot of stuff. It's definitely not a 10. It's got a 10. I know. They're a little bit more lean, you know, so it's like center eight. What's the turnaround time with CGC right now? Uh, 25 to 50 days, depending on which tier. It's not bad. Thank you. All right, from what I can tell, I think there are more comic dealers this time. This is good. More cards, but, oh wait, no. It's not cards, it's something else. Not sure. More action figures. That is a sweet figure. A lot of DC stuff. Store. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. are the new Marvel Legends that were intended to look like the original Toy Biz. Obviously there's no clamshell. Cardboard back. Well, okay, so the clamshell. Hello, how's it going? So they've got the, the clamshell just on the bubble, but you know, no plastic anywhere else, but very cool. Very nostalgic. <laughs> I 
as you wish. Anyone else looking forward to season five of Cobra Kai? I am. I tell you what, that series does not have very good acting, but it is completely addictive. Just the storyline and what's going to happen next. It's just crazy. So these came out, what, 2019? Onward. A lot of action figures, a lot of Pokemon cards, but no Marvel cards yet, no sports cards either. You may not find a lot of sports cards here. Do you mind if I? Thank you. Wow. Masters of the Universe Classics. Gotta be every figure here. It's crazy. It's awesome. Oh, and the Thundercat stuff too. Sneaking in an old uh, Toy Biz figure, Green Goblin, 85 bucks. Put you right back there. Alright. Very cool. Awesome. Marvel Legends, some Toy Biz over here, and some Hasbro, and a whole bunch of Hasbro Marvel Legends. Wow. Thank God. It's the Ultraman and Godzilla table. You know what I really miss is Saturday afternoons when the old Godzilla movies were on. You'd see them uh, fighting whatever monsters, beating the crud out of them, and you had to get some help from someone else. I think my favorite was uh, the Jet Jaguar movie. I believe he was fighting Megalon and one other. I can't remember the name. But anyway, I miss those days. Yeah. Good, how are you? Wow. Very nice. Oh, some changes back. This is impressive stuff. 3D printed and hand painted. See wax. Kind of cool. Fun stuff. Bucks a pack. Seven bucks. And those twelve bucks a pack. I don't know if those are good prices or not. It's twelve bucks a pack. It's still cool to see everything. Still no Marvel cards. Let's go through there, huh? Lots 
to pass. Very cool. Look at all this. Potter cards. It actually doesn't seem too expensive for a pack. Those boxes are really pricey now. Here's some marble packs. Looking for boxes, but still cool they have packs here. Oh, here we go. Three masterpieces, ten bucks each. Sixteen bucks each. This is a very cool area here. Masterpieces. We'll have to come by later. Check it out. When I'm not uh, recording. Good price? I don't know. Let's see what a five dollar book looks like. Alright, so I may have a ten dollar price tag, but it's five bucks. Five dollar books, I guess. Alright, Harley, we will be coming back to see you.
big uh, so cool oh my gosh it's a really cool Ghostbusters guys are everywhere I go. They they must be local because they're every place I go to in Michigan, even in Ohio, they are here. these lines on the screen well not seeing it now I see these lines you can see it through a camera but when you're looking at the game like I'm looking right now those lines aren't there interesting somebody smarter than me out there knows what that's all about super checks Simpsons NFL blitz 99 Turtles, X-Men 4 player, House of the Dead 4, oh, let's go jungle, and classic guitar hero. minutes talking with Reese's Rare Comics 
and tell you what, really good guys That's there. Amazing. And some amazing books, as you guys know, if you follow them on Instagram or you've seen their website. Really? Let's see what he's got today. Okay, we are back from Motor City Comic Con. It was a great day. It was a long day. And I talked to a lot of people and uh, made some new connections as well, which is always good. Wh whatever you're interested in, right? Whatever the hobby is or the business you're in, making new connections, new friends, new acquaintances, always a good thing. So anyway, um, let me get into what I got first, and then we can talk a little bit more about the show. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. I ended up getting 
one, two, three, four, seven books total, six from one dealer and then one from another. So I'm going to go through the six first. I stopped at Harley Yee's booth, as you guys saw in the video. He always has a great selection of older Silver Age books. And one of the things I try to focus on for raw books are um, the pre-hero monster books like Journey and Mystery, Strange Tales, um, Tales to Astonish, Tales of Suspense, uh, series like that. So all of those old monster books, and I picked up a few of them, and here they are. So the first one is Journey into Mystery 64. You can see uh, Rorg on the cover there, which is a, um, well, he's the king of the spiders, or the king of the spider monsters, I guess. I always laugh at the names that Stan Lee and Steve Ditko give these monsters. So Rorg with two Gs. They always have two consonants, two vowels, something um, like that when they're naming these things. Kind of funny. All right. Then I got a bunch of Strange Tales. Strange Tales 71, Black Magic. You can see that spooky ghost thing coming out of the book. Strange Tales 83. Here's Grog. Again, two Gs. See? Um, I don't think this is Grog's first appearance, though. I think he appeared in an earlier Strange Tales book. Um, next one, Strange Tales 91. I don't know what this creature is called, but I'm pretty sure they're from outer space because it says, okay, as soon as you land on Earth, you know, it's going to mean the end of mankind. You can see all like the planets and stars out there. So, you know, I have not read a lot of these. It's one reason why I buy them raw and I get them in like nice, solid mid grades. So that's what these are. Um, Maybe a couple of them are a little bit lower mid-grade, a couple of them a little bit higher mid-grade, but I like to get ones that I can read and I keep them raw. All right, two more of these. Strange Tales 95. This is the two-headed thing, breaking through these bars, going after that guy there. But, but, but don't panic. Not a big deal. And then the last one, Strange Tales 96. This is uh, the creature at the window... I dream of doom, but not Dr. Doom. So anyway, I know you guys always want to know about pricing. And I got these for an average of around 100 bucks each. A couple of them were a little bit more than 100 But uh, yeah, not bad for some nice, you know, lower to higher mid-grade books. So very happy with that. Okay, one more book that I got. So I'll make some room over here. So after... Hanging out with Harley Yee, talking to him for a while. I went over to um, Reese's Rare Comics and talked to them for a while. And uh, Austin was there. And there was another guy, I do, do not remember his name, uh, that was working there as well. I apologize for that. But uh, both super duper nice. And as you guys know and then saw from the video, just amazing selection of books so i didn't get any kind of a grail or anything but what i did get is another timely to add to my collection so this is marvel mystery comics number 68 it's an alex schaumburg cover it's got torch and toro on there and they're beating up all the japanese there's a guy here chained up in the background um, and a lady over here as well so it's a bondage cover but I'm very happy with this. 7.0 is a really, really respectable grade. It does have cream to off-white pages. You know, ideally you want better page quality. But, uh, you know, with these books from the 40s, especially a timely book, I'm very happy with what I got. I paid $22.50 for it. I believe that's an extremely fair deal. I know some people might think um, maybe I underpaid a little, maybe I overpaid a little. But uh, that um, it's it's a decent price for a nice timely book. So another timely to the collection. Very happy about it overall. The show was great. Um, like I was saying in the video, there were more comic dealers this time than there were back in October when Motor City had its last show. And again, that was kind of a forced thing. It wasn't the full out thing. That was their first shot at trying to come back from the COVID shutdown. So anyway. There were more this time, but still not as many as I would have liked to see. 
A um, lot of other stuff there that um, I wish could be replaced with comic book dealers. A um, lot of very cool action figure shops as well, or, or booths, I should say. But I was surprised. No Marvel cards. Marvel cards are exploding recently. And all I found was that uh, one, maybe two areas that were selling various packs from different series, but not the greatest series by any means. Um, no boxes anywhere. No sealed boxes. So hopefully we start seeing that in some other shows. So that's it. If you guys like what you saw here, and I know it was a long video. Uh, it took a lot of work to put all that together. So hopefully you like what you saw. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that as well. And if you want to get in touch with me, check out my other uh, media outlets. I have, so not only am I here on YouTube, I have an Instagram page where I spend most of my time. And uh, I have a website. And I have an eBay store. And everything is RH Midwest Comics. And I'm putting it up on the screen here so you can see it. But you can go check me out at any of those places. And then contact me anywhere, right? I, I have communication outlets on any of those sites. Um, let me know if you want to talk, if you have a question, any suggestions on things you want to see. And if you go to my Instagram page, I post a lot of books for sale that I don't have on my eBay store. Some, you know, higher price books. But my eBay store also has thousands of books as well to choose from. So um, obviously I can do a little bit better on pricing outside of eBay. Just let me know what you're interested in. So that's it for today. Hope you liked it. And until next time, have a good day.